Dottie releases.
birthday boy. No wonder you couldn't hear me. Is that your new tape? Star-Lord? Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out! Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma! What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm hmm Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and... You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, he'd look up at the stars and he'd... Tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. It's pretty crazy that all that destruction started from one little mistake. Three natural ones in a row last game? Some barn I turned out to be. I gotta beat Janie's high score! This is embarrassing! Drax, you gotta stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. Oh, it ain't just a junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. Hey, it's only illegal if Novacore finds us inside, which they won't. Roots right to be nervous, Rocket. Don't underestimate the Novacore. Oh, come on. Am I the only one who ain't scared of the galactic police? On us. But they ain't got the brains. 
Sure takes a genius to catch my ship. My ship? Who said that? Quill! No, I, I think I heard him. Nah, never mind. Ah, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confidence. Don't worry so much, bud. The quarantine zone is huge. No one will ever know we were even in there. I give it one night on Contraxia before the whole quadrant knows we entered the quarantine zone. Gamora? Up here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. Oh. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Okay, here we go. Rocket Groot Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. And if we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Nova Net still up? Thought we were going in. It appears the Assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the Betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor codes are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. 0451. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora, there. And we're in. Incredible. Never realized there was so much stuff left after the war. Train wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacore had 12 years to get rid of the heavy-duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Rodent. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overhaul. Plus, there's good money in it. The beast that we seek is far more valuable to the monster queen of Seknoff 9 than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <laughs> friend? For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Groot, Quill, suit up. Team Rocket's up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the Assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it, and my skin is not green. It is teal. Teal? What? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks to the drop side. Ground's too unstable to land the ship, so you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, Groot. <laughs> Don't worry! Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle, and we'll capture the monster. Together. 
Very well. Bumper one, done. Meet you at the rendezvous point. Gamora, take care of my baby. It's a ship, Peter, not a child. Oh! oh. Can you imagine? I am Groot. What? A pink goo? It's custom nano resin, designed to keep all this war stuff from floating away. I am Groot. Nah, it's totally safe. Now, can we please focus less on the toxic goo and more on all this cool war junk it's holding together? I am Groot. Toxic. More, uh, don't put it in your mouth, Toxic. I'm thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that span the entire galaxy held together by... pink goo. Ebrium-based nano-resin. Whatever. I'm just saying, it's a lot to take in. Oh, look! Yellow and blue! Looks like an old Novacore friggin'. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy, why do you even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so why here? You think it's to impress Gamora? Like, hey, check out the serious intel I got from, you know, shady sources. Please, keep going. Falling in love. Whoa! I'm okay! Ha! Almost made yourself a very late war casualty. You know, I like this. This is fun. Three of us, hanging out. Just like when we started this gig. Before you know who joined us. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. Quill's a swell guy. Come on, Rocket. Drax and Gamora are valued additions to the team. Careful on that thing, Quill. You spot something out there? This omnipresent pink substance data. You mean the ebrium based nano resin cluster foam? Pretty sure that weighs a dead end. Eh, uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Paths this way. Come on. How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey, Groot, you think we can find pieces of the Trion shard in here? I am Groot. You never heard of the Trion shard? Pyramid of pure evil that corrupts everything it comes in contact with. <laughs> How'd you even know the other way was a dead end? Because... Well, I'm okay! Ugh. I'm okay. <laughs> Didn't scare you, did I? No! Aww. You were worried. That's cute. Ah, uh, shut up! Both of you! Oh, uh. Well... Ah. Oh. Whew! <laughs> All good, no worries. But watch your step, guys. This junk isn't as stable as we think. Uh, that is one big mushroom. My uh, fungus, bacteria, mold, space gunk. Take that, brittle stuff. Uh, I hate these. <laughs> Gross. Splatter. Hey. 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. Stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the Flarkin thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. I'm good. I'm thinking right in front. Amazing! I should have been recording! Bridge over, Groot. I want to see if he's alive. I am Groot. I don't know, but he's twitching. Flarkin, Scott Stain, Quill. You okay down there? Yep. Yeah, just, uh... 
Thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a crapped out Novacore missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. I shot a thing. First tool in the old tool book. Ooh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Aw, hey, little guy. What are you- <laughs> You guys should have seen that. It was this weird blobby thing. Not falling for this again. Squeal. You must fight with dignity, Peter Quill. Or at least die with it. Not funny. After we catch this monster, we really should spend half a cycle loading up the Milano with tech. The longer we stay here, the higher the chances of us getting caught. Yeah, yeah. Just such a waste. Well, we got a lot riding on your gal pal's mystery monster tip. I hope she's legit. I'm Groot. Like you could even tell if she had an honest face. I'm Groot. Yeah, she did smell like flowers. If we set up all these thumpers and no monster shows, we just need to salvage what scrap we can and haul it back with us. Mother of Scott! Are you kidding me? Son of a schmack! That was too close! You okay, Groot? Well, we're fine, but we can't jump that. You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for me all the time. All right, Groot. Let's see that cool vine. That's one hell of a party trick, big guy. Gross. More ship eaters. Ah, oh, they're everywhere. All right, back to business. Boom! Right under your nose, Quill. So, Drax, how come you're so in love with this hellbender lady? Hey, Greenies, you see any blue and gold ships out there, you'll let us know. We have seen many such ships. He means active ones. We haven't talked about what to do if we run into a Nova Corps patrol. Uh, we'll restrain them until you're done here. Bad idea. Those cops are all connected through their stupid helmets. If you see cops, you get my ship out of here. Even if it means leaving us behind. Uh, flark that! Trust me, I've dealt with no- 
Okay, here we go. All right, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Flark! No! Flark and Skaggy! Kratak and batteries fried, that's what's wrong. Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery, with the charge. Okay, we're on what's left of a ship. Full of ship things. Gotta be things that power ship things around here, right? Yeah. Maybe you're gonna want to use your visor for this. You find a replacement while I finish scraping the fried wires. Nope. Gamora, when are you gonna share your contacts and sources? When will you share yours? What? You know about all my guys. Only that you've got a guy that makes the booms, you've got a guy who can reconstruct faces, you've got a guy who never says no. So much for that. <laughs> hey! A huge power generator! How do we hook it up? We don't! That thing would toast our little thumper. Can't we condense the power through a routing funnel or something? Don't try to make up tech stuff. It's irritating. Find something else. Peter Quill, the double agent is trying to lull me into a false sense of security. The presser! No charge! Ah, uh, no charge. No good. Plants here. It's a junkyard. I am Groot. Plants grow where they got food. That's not it. How do we know the monster we're looking for ain't one of these things we already killed? If it were worthy of Lady Hellbender's collection, it would not die so easily. Hope we know this thing when we see it and not after we stomped it. Found something with a charge! Kinda looks like a spacey car batter. Okay, this thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The chance is... minuscule, at best. You'll be fine. Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So, uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? Rocket! Help me scramble some no, critters! No, 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 Scott! If I don't rewire this fast, it's gonna go short! Fucking monster things! Everyone get ready! These really coming out of the wake-up call! Just keep these things away from me! Ha-ha! <laughs> Just in time. I'd like to see you fix it next time. 
Come on, two down, two to go. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? This job is a huge deal. It's for the freaking monster queen of Seknarf 9. She just doesn't know it yet. We pull this off, and we're- Lady Hellbender's intergalactic monster anglers? I do prefer that name, but the acronym is unwieldy. Man, that thing is ridiculous. I think it was a ship or a robot. That's a Cree Century, a robot, but it would have been space-worthy. <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. Plus half a dozen Mega Century prototypes. How do you know all this? Because they were my fellow experiments back on Half-World. Most of my parts came from the cybernetics hangar next to the door, so uh, I got a sneak peek at all the new killbots. I can see the parts come and go from my... Uh, uh, my cage. Groot, need you to shoot a bridge right into that eye socket. Now, I want to see you do that to something in combat. Wait, is that... Yes! I'm about to win this pet quill! Nova Centurions probably had to tow all the scrap to one place. Sure, not really their job description, but Nova was spread pretty thin after the war. Hey, kept them off of... <laughs> We're inside a giant robot head. And I got robot parts inside my head. You have robot parts inside your head. Inside a giant robot head. Bam! <laughs> Hey, Groot, what do you think I should do when I win this battle? The units he'll owe me once I win. Congratulate him! Well, I know what I'll be doing with my winnings. I'm saving up for our next stop on Contraxia to get one of those Zeronian massages. Ugh, you're so predictable. You know what, Quill? I think it's unfair. You got two guns, I got one. I think my points should count double from now on. That's cheating! Hey, Thumper goes there, Quill. <clears throat> it's off every critter around, right? Sorry, Quill. Not taking no chances after the last one. I gotta test it real quick. Not again. Rocket! I only flipped the switch on and off to see if it started! Yes! Gotta love that kill radius! Woo! Show them your roof! How are there this many of them? Perhaps they serve as nourishment for the monster! Incoming! Just watch where you're shooting! 
Papa! We're just killing party favors! Watch your butts! You're supposed to squish them! They're trying to kill us! Ouch! Sorry about that! Nice splatter, Rocket! I know, right? What was that worth? Five points? Oh, come on! You can't just give yourself points like... Team, looks like we're done installing our thumpers. Great job. We'll meet you at the mining ship. 